Do you remember the first time that you heard the phrase, love your neighbor? Perhaps you heard added to it as yourself. Well, you may be living with your neighbor and that may not be all that easy a thing to do. There may be some differences between you. You may be living beside your neighbor and in the next house, it's possible that you two don't meet eye to eye all the time. And what if your country is beside a neighbor and you don't get on? Well, what if your neighboring country invades your country? And you know what I'm talking about. You know that I'm going to talk to you today about Ukraine and I'm going to bring you some thoughts in relation to what you can do for the people of Ukraine. But Toastmasters, first of all, would you mind coming with me back in a journey back to my childhood in 1956? Uh, in 1956, on Christmas Day, I was in short trousers and I got into a car with my mother and father and we drove out into the countryside, out to a field. And in the field were some army huts, you know, those kind of Nissan huts that have got a circular top that, and it was cold and damp as it is in Ireland in the winter. And sitting there in the car, and out of the huts came two people, a man and a woman, and I'd never seen them before. I had no idea who they were. They got into the car. There was silence in the car. My, I, I have a vague memory that my mother and father might have said something to the people, but it was pretty obvious that they couldn't speak English. These two people, these two strangers sat across the dinner table from me, my father carved the turkey, my mother served it, she served them first. It was an intimate family occasion. She served the two strangers first. You know who they were? They were refugees from Hungary because in the autumn of 1956, Soviet tanks drove into Hungary and thousands of people were refugees and 541 of them came to Ireland and they were all in Knock Machine Army camp outside the city of Limerick, which is where I grew up. I said to my mother afterwards, after they'd left, who were those people? And she said, they're our friends. They're our friends. And that's when I learned what my mother meant by neighbors. And it marked me for life that complete strangers could be neighbors and could be our friends. And the knock on effect over the last four weeks or so, maybe five or six even, uh, has been devastating. Devastating for me personally at a, at a kind of trivial level, which is that I wasn't aware of what had happened in Ukraine in, over the Crimea. I hardly knew where the Crimea was when it was happening. But my goodness, like all of you, like all of you, I know and you know and we all know what has happened. The bombing, the missiles, the women and children getting on buses and going to other countries and the men left behind fighting for their lives, their homeland and, and everything. And the reason I bring this to you Toastmasters today is because we have nine Toastmasters clubs in District 110. We have nine clubs plus a chartering club. I think about Five or six of them are in Kiev. One of them is in Odessa. We have 160 members of Toastmasters. Are they our neighbors? Are they people that matter to us? 
do we love our neighbors? Okay, these are easy questions for me to pose to you. I have to admit that there isn't another topic that I wanted to bring to you today because it has filled not just my mind, but I believe a goodly number of you, it will have filled your minds over recent times. What on earth can you do? Well, let me say to you that you are one thing that is extraordinarily relevant to the situation. You are a communicator, aren't you? You are a communicator here today and for the rest of your life. And you're out there practicing being a leader in society. That's why you're a member of Toastmasters, in order to be an influential person and to have impact with your words. You can speak about the situation. You can talk to others. You can bring it up in conversations at dinner table. You can bring it up in conversations at work. You can talk. You can keep the caring for neighbors alive. If you're a poet, you can write a poem. If you're a short story writer, you can write a short story. If you're a filmmaker, you can make a, a video, put it on YouTube. You, there is a Facebook group, by the way, where you can put your, what you want to communicate to. You can do what you are best at doing. Now, it's not for me to say what you're best at doing. You know what you're best at doing. And you have people who are your friends every day locally. They, they can even tell you in case you have a blind spot about what you're best at doing. You are an influential person. And I, I ask you to do your best. I bring you an opportunity to think about how you can love your neighbor. And it's been a great privilege to give you that invitation today. Thank you, Contest Chair.